Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today it looks like Google may be planning a gaming console release soon. New benchmarks for Intel's upcoming iGPU are out, and the GTX 6060 non-TI was spotted. So stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, I'm doing things a little bit differently today. And don't worry, I'll go back to my usual videos. I'm just thinking of doing this from time to time when I have a video I need to get out, but don't have much time to do all the editing required for my usual one. Think of it as an extra video I likely couldn't have done otherwise. And let me know what you think down in the comments below. So for those who may not have known, Google held an event just last month called Project Stream. In it, beta testers were able to play Assassin's Creed Odyssey at 1080p 60fps and all you needed was a Chrome browser with 25 megabit download speeds. Believe it or not, it seemed to go relatively well. Obviously, there's quite a bit of gamers who don't have 25 megabit per second downloads, but apparently it wasn't bad for those who did. Well, fast forward to the 21st and Google sent out invites to their keynote at the 2019 Game Developers Conference. They didn't say much about the event except that they'll quote, reveal all. But the big news as to what we might get comes from an older Kotaku article. In it, they claim that Google is planning to release hardware as well as a fully new game streaming platform. Not only that, but even that they're planning to bring game developers on board by either some pretty huge incentives or even full-on acquisition. That's crazy because it hints at them aiming for exclusive rights, especially if they actually buy the companies. Basically, if this is right, Microsoft and Sony could have some serious competition on their hands. Of course, companies have gone after the two console makers in the past, but not many with the serious cloud and wallet that is Google. We'll obviously have to see how things end up, but there's a decent chance that Google will have something huge to announce next month. Next up for today, we've gotten some new benchmarks for Intel's upcoming iGPU, and it's definitely what the company promised. For those who don't remember, last year Intel promised a serious upgrade over their current generation integrated graphics. We're talking over double the execution units, one teraflop of computational power, adaptive sync support, and a good bit more. Well, the new 11th gen GPUs called Iris Plus should come packaged with their upcoming Ice Lake chips set to drop later this year. And likely due to that, we're getting some early benchmarks. Found on GFX Bench and put together by this Reddit user, you can see the new Iris Plus 940 handily beats Intel's last generation UHD 620 by well over 100% in some areas. Of course, that's not really the big deal. Oh no, it also beats Intel's mobile Vega 10 and trades blows with AMD's Vega 11 and the Ryzen 5 APU. Now, I also do want to clarify because some of you have gotten confused before. When I say Vega 10, I mean their mobile chips with 10 GPU cores and Vega 11 with 11. I'm not talking desktop Vega 10, the code name for AMD's discrete GPUs that have nothing to do with the amount of cores they consist of. Okay, back to the results, I will say that that's not all that impressive since the Ryzen 5 2400G came out over a year ago at this point, and AMD's APUs are bound to get a huge upgrade if they unveil new ones based on their 7 nanometer architecture. Oh well, it's at least a decent upgrade from Intel's previous generation iGPUs, and it's nice to know they're capable of some decent gaming. Lastly for today, and thanks to the Meld Militia for spotting this. As you can see, there's an iBuy Power PC with the GTX 1660 on Canada's Best Buy site. That's right, even more proof that we're going to be getting more non-RTX GPUs going down the product stack, at least when it comes to lower end models. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for a potential Google console or what about an updated AMD APU? Let me know down in the comments below. If you liked the video, definitely make sure to subscribe. And as always, have a great day.